Hi everyone, welcome to Cash Wars. We're at Geo Woodstock 2018 and this is a giga. No, we haven't even been to a mega. So come with us and see what we see at this wonderful event and meet some really interesting people along the way. The log for Geo Woodstock was a car parked at the entranceway, which we signed. At the end of the day, it was full with signatures. After signing the log, we went to a tent to arrange for our meal passes and head out into the park. This is the first group of geo vloggers we came across. Okay, <laughs> well we've been walking around meeting lots of people and look who we've bumped into. Hi, I'm Neil Moore from Cash Tales. We watch Neil Moore a lot on YouTube. Uh, it's great to meet him and uh, see him in person. So. Uh, Great to see you. Yeah, and thank you. How have you found Geo Woodstock? Oh, it's awesome. Uh, I knew there was going to be a lot of people, but to see so many people from different places, uh, New Zealand, Australia, Czech Republic, Portugal, yes. you know, it's great to see so many people from all around the world to come to one place for one common goal. So that's awesome. I heard there's over 40 countries uh, represented 40. here today. Oh, yeah. so that's pretty cool. Yeah. So good to see you in yeah. person. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Although there are about 5,000 attendees, we never felt crowded. There's lots of space around. The first place we visited was the trackable exchange tent. We had a trackable, but we found it a cache in New Zealand that wanted to go to Geocaching HQ. So we dropped that off, and we picked up another one that wanted to come to the Pacific. So this one's off to New Zealand. Okay, here we are. We're just um, walking across the grass to the Geo Woodstock um, sign, and we met Hailmeister. So, hello. Hello. Good to see you in person at last. Yes, indeed. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm happy to have met you here. Yeah, good. <laughs> and what are you going to be doing at the um, at Geo Woodstock? Are you in the booth? And yes. Sort of I'll be at the GCNW booth uh, here and there, and I'll be walking around getting a bunch of the lab caches and uh, just hopefully meeting other people as well, too. Yeah, we're really interested in the lab caches. We've never done one. This is the first big event we've ever been to. We've, yeah. we've not even been to a mega. So. Really? Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> so to be at a gig is pretty cool. Yes, indeed, yeah. yes. I hope you have a good time. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. The day before Geo Woodstock, we picked up our registration pack and had the opportunity to look at some of the vendors' stores. Hi everyone, we've um, met another vlogger, so uh, this is Scott Miller, and um, it's great to see you Scott. Great we to see you. We enjoy your videos. So Scott and Ohio videos. Yes. yes. Yeah. Good. And Good. what are you doing here at uh, Geo Woodstock? You know, this is the third time I've done a Geo Woodstock. I have been volunteering. I've been uh, the keeper of the facts, and uh, so trying to keep uh, our YouTube channel so everybody knows what's going on. And I'm finishing up by volunteering and meeting all the great people who are attending. Good. Thank you very Thank much. You. Oh, my pleasure. Yeah. The one tent that was always full of people was the location of many of the lab caches, and we had great fun here. Some were very easy, it could be done in a few seconds, and others took a bit of thinking. We had plenty of people to help, and it was quite a sort of team atmosphere, trying to solve the puzzles. Okay. okay. It's great meeting you too. We've watched your videos and uh, we're wonderful both of you. So, what are your plans? Uh, trying to meet as many people as I can. I like people who geek out on me like you guys are like, like oh my god, it's Dan, it's Dan, it's Dan! I love that. It's just, uh, it's like almost being like a movie star in a way. The kids and adults that don't watch TV anymore because a lot of people don't. They watch YouTube now. It brings so the world together. Yeah. So. One adventure at a time. Hi, we just met Brian. Brian from Geocaching HQ. So um, we thought we'd just ask you, what do you do in a, um, a giga when you come down here? What's your for, for me personally, I just get to talk to people, get to meet people from all over the world, including New Zealand, which is a real treat. It's funny, since I met you folks yesterday, I was talking with a bunch of people about how everybody's coming from all over the world, and I said, I met this lovely couple from New Zealand, and now it's a, it's a treat to get to see you guys. But that's what I do, I, I just get to meet people and talk to them and find out, you know, all about how they learned about geocaching, like what they like about the game, 
there's some folks for whom this game has changed their lives. And so to, to be surrounded by so many people that are positively affected by this, it's a real treat for me and I think a real treat for everybody else too. Oh, nice to meet you. It's a pleasure. My, good. my pleasure. Cheers. Hi everyone. We've just uh, met. Delta 68. Um, we're here at Geo Woodstock. We're just um, passing and said hi. And what are you doing at um, Woodstock? Are you doing anything particular? Anything you're looking forward to? Yeah, we're doing all the lab cash. Um, Right. Just wondering around finding those, and we're hoping to be um, doing the group photo. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, nice to meet you. Yeah, good to meet yeah. you too. <laughs> we had the pleasure of meeting Chris, the writer and director of the geocaching movie Treasure. That's right. It's, it's good. so wonderful to meet you. Yes, I'm glad you enjoyed the film. Oh, we did. We loved it. Yes. Do you, now, do you show them where the hidden codes are? Or do you make oh. them find them? <laughs> oh, they find them. Wow, yeah. That's the way to do it. Because that's what it's for, right? That's yeah, the fun. The fun is in the hunt. One of the main speakers at the event was West Virginia Tim, who's put out some incredible caches. He was really interesting. I am from Berkeley County, West Virginia. You, uh, you would never know that I'm from West Virginia because, to be honest with you, most of the other folks from West Virginia, they kind of sound funny. <laughs> but, thank goodness I don't have an accent. But if it looks like it belongs there, it makes a great cash. And I'm going to show you some pictures and examples of that. We also met Cash Canada. He's also a keen geo vlogger. Hi, we just found a fellow New Zealander. Hi, I'm Ilka Atomidady from Auckland, Parnell. Yeah, it's not far from where we live. So not at all, yeah. Really so, um, how are you enjoying America? Oh, I love America. Um, I lived here for a couple of years, so it's always nice to come back. In one of the tents we saw the original can of beans, which was part of the swag put out in the first geocache, and we signed the log. Then we met Joshua. He's like the rock star of geo-vlogging. How are you? Hi, Joshua. I'm great. Hey, I am excited that you guys, together, you cache together, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. You just joined the Geocaching Network, so right. I just, just want to officially welcome you, check out their channel, make it happen, subscribe, do all the things, and go along with them on their adventures. Thanks. Right. Thanks, Joe. Awesome. Great, really great, great. I hope you're having fun. Then we met Gary and Chris, who are podcasters. We're going to do a drawing at 11. It's almost 11. Good time. So, hold on to both halves until we put out the ammo. Podcasters had a number of raffles throughout the day. It was good fun. At the Geocaching Network booth, we met a number of geocachers who we follow quite closely on YouTube. On the way to the car, at the end of the day, we collected some trackables. Well, this brings us to the end of our Geo Woodstock Giga Cash Walk. It was so much fun. We met lots and lots of lovely people. And while we were there, we bought a rat. <laughs> she <laughs> <And> brought a rat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and um, anyway, we undo that, and that's where the log goes. So we're going to put them out in New Zealand. So thanks for watching. And don't forget to go geocaching. <laughs>